Сегодня у нас интервью с удивительной певицей LP. Она приехала во Владивосток со своим концертом, и перед ним она дала нам эксклюзивное интервью. Здравствуйте. Во-первых, спасибо, что приехали к нам сюда в Россию. Добро пожаловать во Владивосток. Thank you very much. Спасибо. Это ваш второй тур в России, но вы впервые в Сибири и на Дальнем Востоке, так далеко. И какая разница между этими двумя турами, который был год назад и сейчас? I don't know yet because I just started this tour, but um, I think every time is different, you know. I think uh, I feel like I know uh, Russia more now. I know people a little more now. It's just like it's kind of like seeing old friends in a way. It's very nice. Один певец однажды в интервью мне сказал, что люди на концертах хотят слушать только хиты и какие-то суперпопулярные песни. А вы что думаете по этому поводу? Uh, maybe that's just my perception, but um, I feel I feel like they're with me the whole time. And maybe on like certain songs, more phones come out or something. But it's for the most part, I feel I don't I don't feel pushed like that. And I, you know, even if I did, I just would try to you know get through it. But I never feel like that. I always feel very embraced throughout the set. It's nice. Ну а что вообще делает шоу uh, крутым, ну каким-то интересным и таким, который нравится публике? And, uh, and I think they appreciate that, you know. And I'm like, I think what I try to do is like make everybody. It's like we're we're having a show together. I'm not necessarily like up there like oh, 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 oh like it, you know. I feel more like I'm trying to be, uh, you know, pull us all together. А кто, по вашему мнению, делает самые крутые шоу в, в мире, кроме вас? You know, I was just like uh, tripping out over there. Uh, they have this show where everyone wears a bracelet and it lights up, you know, the whole thing. I think they really, they're like on the, um, the cutting edge of um, artists that are striving to make it an experience for the audience, which is the ultimate thing, you know? I think, uh, you know, there's so much to do for people that they can do other things. And if they come to your show, they deserve like a, you know, to feel like they experience something, like, um, memorable. So, I think, uh, Coldplay kills it like that. Вы еще и композитор, и пишете песни для звезд. Какая из ваших песен заиграла по-новому, приобрела новый смысл, характер? Чья? И кого? В чем исполнение? Yeah, I mean, of course. I think, you know, whoever does one of my songs, they put their essence into it. I think that, uh, It's that's the coolest thing because it's kind of hard to articulate what they actually put into it. I think it, it's it's something um, you know um, that they that is up for the listener. You no, know, I mean any any interpretation of the song, even your, my own interpretation, you know, takes on a new a different meaning in everyone's head. So it's really that's the cool coolest part about a song. I mean, I think you have you have a song like. Uh, Dolly Parton wrote a song called I Will Always Love You, mm -hmm. and her version is so different than Whitney Houston's version and Celine Dion's version, mm -hmm. and and it brings up very different emotions in people, but similar. It's like, it's just an interesting thing. That's what's beautiful about music, I think. It's uh, it's very open, and, um, and that's what makes it so unique and, and, and special to people because you know you, you have people that think of a song like where they think of a loved one or a, uh, a lover like someone could think of like losing their parent to a song that's about losing romance and those kind of that's you know that's what's cool so круче быть композитором писать песни или их исполнять for me it's i think I have to do both, and that's why I always, you know, was striving to do both. I think that it's something that just matters to me. It, it gives me 
Um, it, you know, it's my expression. Um, I, I love obviously to sing, you know, and I think um, I think I truly need both. When I was only writing for other people, I was I feel like I was lucky because I only did that for you know almost two years, not even. And I think if I would have kept writing without singing for an audience, I, I might have really missed that, you know? Um, and I think if I was just a singer who sang other people's songs, I would always be like secretly wanting to. So they're just like kind of like they, they complement each other perfectly for me. Mm-hmm. I mean, I would say yes, but it's honestly, it was just completely luck and complete fate that I got to do it again. You know, I really did not think I would. And, and you know, if most people knew what's involved in actually getting to do this on, you know, on any level, especially a, a higher level, they'd be surprised. They'd know it was like, you know, kind of lucky. And uh, I just consider myself very lucky that I got to um, do this, you know, do both because it's not um, very likely for many people. So um, yeah, just kind of like, I feel like I got away with something, which I probably did. <laughs> ну а как вообще а, остаться, делать искусство, а не превратить это в ремесло и конвейер какой-то, то есть в массовое производство? I don't think it's hard to, to like continue making art if you are open to it. Um, I, I think that if you listen to other people and you worry about money and, and radio and all that stuff, then sure, I think you can run into that problem. I, I, uh, I try not to think about that. I think I might be incapable of thinking about it because when I go in the studio, I just like, I just do whatever. I can't control it. And then I just, uh, you know, what I like uh, to do is just, I be like, I'm good at noticing for myself what, what is catchy to me, what is like, what feels like I could sing over and over again. So I just pay attention to that, like what my, my individual thing with, with songs, like what sounds good to myself, you know? Because I feel like I can't go wrong like that. If I, if I try to like do something that is trying to please somebody else, whoever that is, I don't know who that is, <laughs> you know? But I feel like that's, a, that's the luckiest thing, you know? Like that I think I just like kind of kept paying attention to my own inner feelings with like what в чем секрет вашего успеха? Ну, это может быть в итальянских корнях ваших, потому что кажется, что в Италии все все поют, не знаю, как повороты. I have heard that before that I did hear that um, the way I, the way I sing and my songs remind people of old stuff that people used to listen to, and, I, and I've heard that from a couple of different, you know, the, the, the Russian people that are in our, on our team that, like, you know, work with us, you know, promoters or, like, handlers, and uh, they've said that to me, and I was like, oh, that's, that's interesting, that makes a lot of sense, you know, I think, um, uh, I love that, actually, that was something that really was appealing to me, that, you know, because I feel like my audience is very varied, like, I look out into the audience, and I see young to old people, And I love that. I mean, I think that's like the coolest um, thing um, you could have. It's like a, a diverse audience. I have so many people, like mothers and daughters that come to my shows, you know, and I have like, you know, uh, uh, women that'll say like, oh, my mother told me about you. And then women that'll say, oh, my daughter told me about you. And, and I don't know, I feel like, I don't know if that's unique, but, um, но я еще имела в виду на самом деле, что Италия очень музыкальная страна, и там все поют оперы. Это все ведь очень итальянская музыка. Это равно Италии, мне кажется. I think you know it's like Italian people here. I go like talking my hands. You know it's like similar. You know like there's a uh, there's an appreciation for um, you know loud emotional behavior. You know or I don't know it's 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 um, Sometimes it's those are the things that like make people sentimental. <laughs> Я не 
могу не спросить о ваших тату. Они носят какие-то какой-то смысл для вас, либо это просто для развлечения, для украшения себя? It's meaning I feel like I, you know, like many people, I mark my life with tattoos. You know, I um, I can always remember what I thought about the tattoo then, what it what it became to me. Um, that I like, I can see my life, my life in them. You know, I just like it. It just like it's a recorded history of my my journey. You know, and it's um, I love that about tattoos. I feel like, um, you know, tattoos went um, kind of like in and out of like favor, you know, and they, they always do, you know, and I think, uh, I think you know, the people that have tattoos, many of them are like, you know, I feel like it's finally okay to be not tattooed or be tattooed, and, and people have their own, uh, you know, versions of what it means, and I, I kind of love it, I don't, I don't, I don't see, um, uh, I, I feel like I'm grateful for them, I, I'm glad I like, mark myself. Uh, ну и uh, вопрос, uh, наверное, вы часто слышите этот вопрос uh, о вдохновении. Ваши песни очень um, честные, откровенные. А что вас вдохновляет на этом? Yeah, I mean, uh, of course, like life experience for sure. You know, I think uh, I often write. I've said this uh, before, but I often write songs to make myself feel better. You know, to get myself out of or like express something that I need to almost get off my chest as, well, as far as like, you know, like how you make, it's like therapy. So I feel like that's like um, one of the biggest reasons why I, I write songs and I, you know, I think um, I love the idea of conjuring up a mood, you know, uh, to, to help myself get through something, you know? It's like when you're sad and you are you know, like heartbroken and you listen to like a sad song, there's something about it that just like, кто-то слушает грустные песни, когда их сердце разбито, а кто-то пишет грустные песни, когда их сердце разбито. Спасибо большое за это интервью. Это была LP, но теперь посмотрим концерт.